Welcome back again for uh, yet another uh, setup episode. Um, this one, uh, this very first shot, uh, we are featuring uh, Captain America in this cool house I found at uh, Savers. Just uh, every once in a while I stop in there to see what they all have. And yeah, this is only five bucks. Um, <clears throat> it had, did have a base on it I uh, took off and, and it had wiring running through it for all... There's a bunch of lights uh, along the edging of the roof um, that would light up, but I uh, just felt the base was too big. It, it was too clunky, so I ended up, um, yeah, cutting it down, taking the bottom off, and now we have a residential home. And and the America stuff is just a little bit too much for your standard, uh, you know, residential home. So I will be doing some work on that later on, probably just repainting, you know, painting over it white or something like that. Maybe paint the stars gold or something. But uh, before I decide to repaint it, I thought it would be fun to do a quick uh, Captain America uh, shot since it's kind of house Captain America would live in. And then, you know, what do you do? Well, here's a paper boy delivering papers, and you got Captain America in his house coat with, uh, if you look close enough, he has um, some star underwear on. Those are actually uh, Wonder Woman's underwear. That's where I got that uh, piece from. But uh, I thought it'd be fun to do a, a paper boy uh, shot. And yeah, because I was a paper boy, that's actually a little fun fact about me. I was a paper boy from 9 till 15. Uh, until I uh, was old enough to, to get a better paying job, but uh, this is kind of an ode to my childhood. It's it's uh, me delivering papers to Captain America. So and he's on his way out. He hears the door open. He turns around, waves a cap as he's getting his newspaper. So um, yeah, kind of fun, kind of kind of funny with uh, him in his underwear getting the newspaper. Um, but uh, yeah, cool shot, fun shot. Glad I finally got another residential house for my collection uh, that scales uh, pretty much perfectly with it. Um, yeah, the, 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 you know, the terrain is from Michaels. These trees are from Michaels. This uh, walking path is from Michaels. Um, yeah, not much else to say. Let's see, Captain America's house coat is from Pulp Fiction. Underwear from Wonder Woman. And um, yeah, so anyways, let's, uh, let's go on to the next setup. All right, uh, welcome back, everybody. Um, we have uh, a pretty crazy setup tonight. Um, we have the Winter Soldier taking on uh, good old-fashioned Hydra uh, AIM team up. Uh, they're building a rocket in the background. Um, we got a bunch of Hydra agents uh, standing guard. That's what they're there for. And then we have our uh, AIM agents working on the rocket itself. And then, of course, we have... Uh, the Winter Soldier over here just waiting to come take them out. So, uh, yeah, he's got uh, yeah, a bomb on that uh, wall or whatever, uh, that pillar. He's going to he's gonna make an explosion and, uh, you know, as a diversion and take these guys down. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I started setting this up last night. I got pretty tired. I uh, figured I'd get a shot in because I was pretty excited for these new dial pieces I made or I, I bought. Um, and yeah, I wanted to use them, uh, and, and it's great for factory. It's great for, um, yeah, just what you're seeing right now. We have this walkway in back. That's all one piece. All these step pieces are, um, like separate pieces. There's platforms. There's this giant platform in back. We see with the, the, the aim agents on, there's a smaller one that, uh, Bucky is underneath. And then, yeah, we got the setup. We got a bunch of crates and a barrel and stuff next to these Hydra agents to uh, kind of, you know, fill in some blanks. Um, we got a computer back there that uh, Arnim Zola and this AIM agent are working on. And that's a Playmobil rocket in, back, in the background. But, um, you know, I, I was going to set this up and uh, <laughs> I wasn't going to use it again, but I'm pretty much going to take a week off from the lab. I got... I got my kids, and it's pretty much impossible for me to get in here with them. Uh, but I'll leave this set up for the week, and then I think I'm going to come back to it, which will be a whole 30 seconds for you guys, but it'll be a whole seven days for me before I get this video out. So uh, anyways, yeah, he's going to blow this up, and he's going to come at them. Originally, I was going to take it apart. Now I think I'm going to do a full-on, um, you know, 
series of shots with this setup. It's just too rad to, uh, you know, not, not do a bunch of shots with. So, anyways, we'll see you in a week or in about 30 seconds. Uh, on to the next panel. Yeah, so it's been a week for me, um, and I just haven't uh, gotten around to getting back in the lab. And the, the setup is just too sweet to uh, not reuse. So uh, compared to the last shot you guys saw, we're going to back up a little bit, and we're going to have uh, the Winter Soldier taking a zip line down from the ceiling uh, before, you know, the previous scene is basically uh, where it where it comes at next or comes to next. So that's basically what this is, and this will be the opening shot for... Um, yeah, for uh, this little Winter Soldier uh, storyline I'm going to do. So, and he's just got a piece of wire that I, you know, strung him up. I think I got to try to get that a little bit straighter, not that, not have that curve in there or whatever. But, uh, yeah, Guard Soldier is uh, walking on by as he's zip lining down and and uh, whatnot. So, anyways, yeah, let's, uh, let's figure out where the next shot's uh, going to go from here. So here's our next shot. Uh, they're basically making their escape on an elevator. Um, and yeah, uh, he's shooting at them. The, he takes out a Hydra guard. The AIM soldiers are already dead. This guy's already dead. Uh, Zemo's holding an a AIM soldier kind of hostage, uh, you know, um, or in front of him anyways. So if he pops off any shots, it won't be... Uh, it won't be Zemo that's taken, you know, the, the, the bullet or whatever. But, um, yeah, nifty little setup. I think I'll maybe do a couple more shots having to do with this run. Um, just one more just to finish up Winter Soldier and then an aftermath shot with a shield or something. So, anyways, let's, uh, let's go on to the next shot, okay? So, last but not least, we have this uh, shot of the, the villains uh, getting away. Um, and then Winter Soldier watching them as they walk away uh, down here at the bottom with his body count surrounding him. Um, yeah, uh, pretty awesome shoot. I kind of wish I would do more with it, but, um, you know, this should be enough. Uh, you know, I got plenty of action shots with it and Winter Soldier doing his thing. So, you know, I'm pretty satisfied with everything. Um, and then... You know, this shot, seeing these three walking together and Winter Soldier down there is pretty awesome. So I think we're going to do one more follow-up shot uh, with S.H.I.E.L.D. and Captain America for this uh, without any of these guys. But uh, it'll be a pretty cool shot. You'll see what uh, I'm talking about next. So uh, let's move on to that next shot. So here's our last shot uh, of this this video, the series. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, we, we had our first uh, Captain America getting his morning paper uh, shot, and then, of course, this Bucky uh, Bucky little short story kind of uh, took off on its own. Uh, and this is the end cleanup. S.H.I.E.L.D. shows up. We got a couple S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. We got a couple of their uh, drones. Um, I can't think offhand what they're called right now. Um, total brain fart. But, um, yeah, we got uh, some of the surviving Hydra and AIM agents being taken into custody, and then we have Captain America and uh, Agent 13 uh, present uh, talking to Nick Fury about what's going on. Uh, if you read the storyline, the Edward Breaker run of, of Winter Soldier's return, uh, spoiler alert if you haven't, but uh, pretty much uh, when, the, when the Winter Soldier gains consciousness or remembers who he is, he goes around trying to right uh, the wrongs that he did underneath uh, mind control. And this is just kind of a spin on that. Uh, we have that Agent 13 from that era uh, in this shot. Uh, we have Captain America in his Avengers jacket, and then we have Nick Fury in uniform. I think Nick Fury might not have been around at the time. I think it was Maria Hill. I think that was when he disappeared before Secret Invasion. Uh, but... Uh, Whatever, uh, it's one inconsistency. I suppose I could switch them out with Maria Hill, but uh, I'm not going to do that. So, anyways, actually, maybe he was around. I don't remember. Somewhere in there, he disappeared for a while, but uh, he was at the beginning of that run. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is basically it. So, we got uh, some of these uh, uh, backgrounds. Um, they are Gungan uh, dios. Uh, they all connect together, but uh, we've seen those a bunch of times in my pictures, and then... It's basically the background of a, a secret lair for the bad guys, and then we have this other part uh, from a different uh, Gundam 
uh, you know, dial that is like a sliding door. It's hidden in this rock uh, base. And, uh, you know, they're walking out all the Hydra agents. Uh, we have the APC, I think it's called, from uh, Aliens, just for another filler uh, background. Um, yeah, and then, you know, like I, I've talked about this before, uh, let's look at all the figures. We got Nick Fury, Captain America, Agent 13, front and center. We have all those characters in the background, but um, I want to fill in all the, I don't want to leave any dead space at all in my pictures. So if you watch this, I'm going to rotate my camera and slowly slide in. Now look, we have uh, Agent 13. Uh, we got that uh, drone. God dang it, I can't think of what it's called. In the background, I'm sure somebody will point out in the comments. We have uh, Captain America. We have uh, the shield agent in the background. Then we got another one of those drones. We have the Hydra agents, uh, that aim agent. You know, there is no dead space back there. It's a bunch of figures. Um, I could maybe center this, this drone between Carter and uh, Captain America a little bit better. But other than that, uh, everybody's in between each other. Uh, there's not, no real dead space. And then I put some shrubs uh, in the front for layering over there. Uh, basically, this is supposed to be, you know, a hidden uh, hydra base in a, in a cave uh, where they're building that missile or whatever. So, anyways, that's pretty much it for this shot. Uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, tons of fun, actually. I'm glad uh, this video turned out as good as it did. Yeah, Winter Soldier is one of my favorites. That Captain America run is one of my favorite Captain uh, favorite comic runs of all time. It's just amazing. Uh, definitely check it out. I think there's a compendium for Ed Brubaker's run, uh, a couple of them. Um, but yeah, anyways, that uh, that's it. Uh, we have more stuff coming up this weekend. Um, some more videos, uh, tons of stuff on my Instagram. So always check that out. I got a Facebook account that also has all my pictures on it. So check that out sometime. I'll post links in the description of this video. Uh, thanks for following along. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.